All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be having a lot of fun with probably the best team currently available on the global side of the game and definitely my personal favorite team to use right now. But believe it or not, I couldn't actually run this team until about two weeks ago. I mean, obviously nobody had Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta until their banners came out. But more importantly, I did not have a single copy of the main leader for the Kamehameha category, this AGL LR Gohan, and thankfully, I finally pulled him for the first time during the anniversary. And trust me when I say that I tried really, really hard to get him the first time around. All right, during last year's download celebration, I spent over 3,000 stones on his banner alone. And with the 3 plus 1 discount, that was like... A bajillion multis and it just wasn't meant to be it just didn't happen but you know what it's all good because i got him now he's rainbowed and i'm over it mostly anyways before we get into the event let's do a quick rundown of the uh team we're gonna bring so we got the gohan as the leader of course and we also have lr ultra instinct goku with a dupe we have lr vegito blue who's rainbowed the lr blue gogeta has two dupes, and the rest of the team is the three-year LRs, the Fizz Gogeta at 100%, and the Fizz or Int Vegito at 100% as well. And the friend here is another AGL LR Gohan, also rainbowed. So overall, a pretty solid team. It's pretty decent, right? It's not bad at least. So there you go. That is the team we're gonna bring. Of course, no support items necessary because this team doesn't need it. Support items are for the weak, and these guys are definitely not weak. So let's jump in. Here we go. So I'm gonna call right now that this run is gonna take us somewhere around, wait, what's a good time actually? 18 minutes, 20 minutes. I think my fastest time ever on the legendary Goku event was around 17 minutes and 30 seconds. So let's say since we're doing a video and since I'm going to be talking quite a bit, that's going to take up some time. So I'm going to call 18 minutes, all right? Sub 18 minutes, maybe a new record. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for a new record, all right? 17 minutes and 29 seconds. It's going to be the time that it takes for us to clear this event with this team. To be fair, this is the best team I've ever brought to take on this event so i feel like there's a good chance we can set a new record here and this is actually going to be my first no item run i think too i mean don't get me wrong all right i could have done no item in the past too just to be clear it's just i'm usually pretty cautious when it comes to item usage like pretty conservative and if there's a chance that i could die you know then I'll probably use an item. Even though if, if, even though it's like not super necessary, I'll still pop an item just because like I don't want to lose the run. So in the past where I've had chances to actually do no item, I wouldn't do it just because I'm like, yo, like what if we actually get super here? So anyways, today we brought no items, so that's not even an option. And uh, I mean, as I said in the beginning, this is the best team on global right now, so it would actually be a shame if I had to use them, right? Like, if I if I did a video with these units and I used items to clear the event, people would make fun of me, man. I mean, people are probably still going to make fun of me for taking too long to beat this. That's how overpowered this team is. You guys haven't seen anything yet. Like, if you're, if you're not impressed yet, that's okay because you're not supposed to be impressed at this point. There's still a lot you have to see. So just wait, all right? Just... Just buckle down. It's going to be a bit of a longer video. I mean, not too long, like maybe 20 minutes. So uh, there's a lot more coming. Okay, now as far as rotations, I'm definitely going to be keeping the blue Vegito and the blue Gogeta together. The blue Fusion's got to be on the same rotation. That's, that's not a question. But for the other rotation, I'm actually thinking maybe instead of like, I mean, this would make sense, right? The, the three air LRs together. But I think... I'm actually going to split them up. Yeah, because my logic is if I keep them together and we fall below 50% HP and get the fusion and heal all the way back up, they're going to both fuse at the same time and we're going to waste 
essentially a free Senzo Bean, right? With the heal, so... Yeah, I'm gonna keep them separate until they fuse, and then we'll put them together, like, on one rotation, right? But for the time being, we'll, we'll just probably float them off. I think next turn, once UI Goku comes back, I'm gonna do a rotation of UI Goku and AGL Gohan, and then just float the three-year LRs once again until they fuse. That sounds like a sound strategy. That sounds like a good strategy. Yeah, should be okay. All right, here we go. We got the fusions for the blue LRs. There's the Vegito, who is at 100%. It's rainbowed. Not sure if I remember to mention that. <laughs> you know, I really hope nobody's like pissed off. <laughs> Obviously, whenever I say that, it's a joke, right? Like I'm not serious about it. I mean, I am serious about the fact that they're rainbowed, but like the reason I just keep, you know, emphasizing it is it, it's mostly a choke, but at the same time, I'm just like super excited about it. All right, you guys got to understand, I did not expect in a million years to be able to rainbow LR Vegito Blue, at least on his initial banner. Like I thought maybe I'll pull like a dupe or two, and then when the Tenabata uh, Ten banner or Thank You banner comes around um, at the end of the year, I'll pull the remaining dupes, but even then, I didn't think I was going to rainbow him. But, like, the recent streak of luck has just been so insane that it ended up just happening that way, right? Because in the last, what, like 600 stones, I think I pulled three Vegitos and two Gogetas. Yo, please dodge this. Thank you! Okay, you are coming in clutch with the dodges. Um, yeah, in the last 600 stones or so, we pulled three Vegitos, two Gogetas, Rainbow Vegito, got Gogeta to at least, you know, have all his hidden potential skills, which is all I wanted, really, right? I wanted all the additionals, so we can get regular, like, double super, um, rotations, or double super turns, which is amazing, especially when he transforms, or when he fuses, which he, actually, no, no, not, not fuse, just transform. Um, it, it, it gets pretty crazy because he does like one super for like, you know, 4.5 mil and then second additional super for like 3 mil plus and they're all super effective. It's wild, man. Ooh. Yo, we can pop the actives. Should I, should I do it? I don't know. Like at the same time, hey, on the one hand, I want to do it because it looks sick and I want you guys to see it. On the other hand, I feel like it's a little bit early to do it. Um, you know, let's save it, let's save it. The only thing that worries me is like, in the past I've done runs where like, you know, I had a chance to pop it in the beginning and then I didn't because I wanted to save it and then later on I just never got a chance again because we never had the opportunity to like, you know, attack the enemy when they were below 50% HP. So hopefully that doesn't happen again, hopefully on the later stages like on, you know, Super Saiyan God or UI Goku or something like that, we'll get another chance to um, launch the active skill. All right, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Anyways, as I was saying, the luck's been insane recently. All right, the luck has been really, really insane. Okay, so it looks like the friend Gohan has more defense than mine right now, which makes sense because he's attacked more, but I'm gonna actually keep my Gohan <laughs> in the main rotation. And you guys might be confused about that. I'll explain in a second. I'll explain it in a second. I'll, I'll explain right now. Basically, I have this weird thing where, like, I always want to use my own leader units over the friend one. Even sometimes if the friend one is better than mine, I still prefer to use mine because that's, like, my unit, you know? And I just want... It makes me feel better when they're the one attacking over the friend one. I don't know. I, I know it's weird. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. But that's just how I am. All right, that's just how it is. So we're using my Gohan. We would have taken less damage there if it was the friend Gohan. But it's okay. It's all good. What was I saying before? Oh, yeah, the crazy luck recently. Yeah, so I'm actually kind of tempted, not gonna lie, to go back into the Gogeta banner and just try to go for the rainbow, man. I know it's not a good idea. I know it's stupid. I really shouldn't do it. And I mean, even though I've been getting really, really lucky recently, Logically, it's got to stop at some point, and I should just quit while I'm ahead, right? I really should. Ooh, don't attack. Okay, focus. Let's get this perfect. One, two. Oh, it's fast. Four, five, six. Nice. Got it. Okay, what's this going to do? 
Um, his attack's up to 3.4. Obviously, he ha he's not fully stacked up yet. He still has quite a few attacks to do before like he has this, his full passive active. But um, 3.4 is not bad. 3.4 is pretty good. 2.7, there's an additional super. 2.4. Hopefully, we get a third super as well. Those are my favorite turns, man. Come on. Ah, no third super. It's okay, though. Goji is going to finish the job. Um, so yeah, man, I've been thinking about it, you know, like, we've just been getting so lucky recently, I'm like, maybe I should just keep, you know, rolling with this luck, but at the same time, I know, like, you know, when I take a second to think about it, I know the smart thing to do would be to quit while I'm ahead, but I'm not really a smart person when it comes to summons, I'm not really a rational person when it comes to summons, the people who have been following my channel for a while know that, like, I do a lot of stupid stuff when it comes to summons, so I don't know, man. I'm still thinking about it. We still got two days left before the 3 plus 1 discounts go away. And I think the tickets as well. Wait, do we still get tickets after the discount period? I'm not really sure. But either way, there, there's two days left before the 3 plus 1 goes away. And that still gives me two days to potentially you know, go back in and try to rainbow this Gogeta. How about you... <laughs> You guys let me know, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do. All right, should I just be satisfied with my 100% Vegito and 79% Gogeta? Or should I go back to the Gogeta banner and try to go for the double rainbow? Double rainbow sounds a lot better than just one rainbow LR. Keep in mind, though, all right, keep in mind that I have basically everybody on the Vegito banner and the Gogeta banner rainbowed. Like for Gogeta banner, I have, you know, AGL Gogeta, Ant Gogeta, Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Fizz Broly, um, Fizz LR Gogeta. All those guys are completely done. So more likely than not, even if I pull an LR or pull a bunch of featured units, it's still going to be a big shaft just because I don't need them. I can't use them for anything. But at the same time, I could use another dupe for Cell. He's at 90%, so I could use that final dupe for Cell. Obviously, I still need two more STR Gogetas. And uh, I still need Bardock's, actually. You know, Bardock and Gine, amazing unit. So I could still use that. So, I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. Get more Bardock's. I should stop, man. I should stop. Yo, we're already at UI. This is, this is going pretty fast. Okay, we're already at UI Goku. I feel like there's a realistic chance we can actually um, reach our goal of 17 minutes. So I need, I need to stop talking. Okay, hold on. Um, so yeah, we'll put Gohan there. Most likely going to take a super there. Hopefully at least. And then um, UI Goku, even though he doesn't have the best defense, his defense should be high enough now where at least normal attacks won't hurt him too much. A super could still do a decent amount of damage, but it's not going to kill us because this team has so much defense. Or, sorry, uh, HP. <laughs> well, defense and HP, but mostly HP. Look at that. 576k. Yo, Goku, come on. That's so cute. This guy's trying to super our Gohan, trying to hurt Gohan. He did 70 damage with his super attack. Yo, target anybody else, man. Don't target Goku. Like, honestly, that's just... It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, man. <laughs> Dude, I love this team so much. I love this team so much. And I, I'm so happy I finally have Gohan. I mean, obviously, Blue Fusion's amazing, but for you people who haven't been to the channel or been around the channel for too long, you do not understand the pain and suffering that AGL LR Gohan put me through. In fact, when I pulled the third dupe for him, I, I was like, yo, Screw this. I'm going to go to the coin shop and buy the fourth copy and rainbow him right now. Not because it was a good idea. It wasn't, right? It was a bit of a waste. I'm not going to lie. But for me, it was just more of a personal thing. All right? Like, I, I just suffered so much with him that, like, I, I just needed that closure. I needed to get him done 100% so that, like, to, to show he can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But anyways, you guys get the point, man. Like, I'm, I'm really happy I finally have him. I'm so glad I can finally run this team. And uh, having the blue fusions with Dukes as well obviously just makes things even better. So I'm just having a really good time right now. When I said in the beginning of this video that we were going to have a lot of fun, I meant it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a ton of fun right now. This is 
some of the most fun I've had with uh, Dokkan in a long time. Like, just being completely straight up. Like, I was... Before the anti started, I was, like, fading a little bit, right? Like, I was just, like, logging in. You know, obviously making videos here and there and stuff. Like, But, like, if I wasn't making content, I wasn't playing the game that much. But then... The anti hype started, so there's a lot more content to do, and I was getting hyped for the LRs, and I got the LRs, I got the Gohan, and now, like these, this anti has basically breathed like new life into the game for me. It's probably done the same for a lot of you guys too. I'm sure many of you guys were in the same boat, right? You're like, like Dokkan, I still love, I still want to play it, but it's just like nothing to do right now. And then with the anti, with all these new events, with all these new units, it's it's been a good old time. So. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Not sure how you guys feel about this stuff, but uh, it's been a good time for me. Yo, 60, why Why would you super Gohan? Come on, man, like I said, just, just target anybody else. I'm starting to feel bad for him at this point, honestly. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put him out of his misery. We're gonna pop this Vegito active skill and uh, move on. Okay, now the reason I'm popping Vegito is because obviously we have type disadvantage on the next stage. So might as well use Vegito's here, and then pop Gogeta's next turn, or next stage. Okay, here we go. Enjoy. Oh my god. 4.4 to 3 million. Goku had no chance. Zero chance. Alright, so now things get a little bit scary. Not too much. Alright, it's not too bad, but a, a, a little bit scary. Um, let me think about this real quick. So, it's a lot of attacks in the front, a lot of attacks in the end. Should I maybe put Gohan here? I think so. Because I want the into Vegito in rotation anyways, once he transforms. So, or once they fuse. So, I think that's fine. And then UI Goku up in the middle just because there's the one attack. And, uh, you know, a super is still going to hurt him quite a bit. So I think this placement makes the most sense. It kind of hurts me to take my Gohan out of rotation. But I think I need him there to, to tank all those attacks. Alright. So let's see if the game wants to be a dick to me. And uh, super me with that one attack in the middle when there's a million at the end. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, there's two attacks. No, there's one. There's one. Yes, we're safe. We're safe. And, I mean, if he wants to sue for Gohan again, that's fine. Okay, I mean, you can go for it. It's not gonna do much. But you can try. I'm not gonna stop you. 15k? I mean, you did more than before. Right? Like, I like how I'm talking to UI right now. Yo, no, for real though, guys. We have not fallen be below... Uh, I don't think we've fallen below like 80% HP this entire run. I don't think we've fallen below 80% this entire time. I mean, it might happen now. Because we have to type disadvantage here with the Vegito. Maybe I should put Gogeta in the front. Or, I mean, if Vegito supers first, it should be fine, right? Because we can build some more defense. And I kind of want... The three-year LRs to fuse too, so I'm gonna go for this, man. It might be kind of stupid, but I'm so confident in this team. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm so confident in my Vegito, really. Oh, that uh, might not have been the smartest thing. But did you see how much attack that super was gonna do, or or you know what it got up to? 4.5, man. Second super was 3.7, I think. Third super, 3.8. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And as you can see, yeah, after he attacked, we were able to build up more defense. So we didn't take that much after. It's, it, it, it's a good thing we didn't get supered first, though. If we got supered in that first slot, right, like before Vegito had a chance to attack, things could have been pretty bad. Like, that, that could have been pretty bad. See, Gogeta is getting supered now. But he attacked first, too. So I'm not too worried. Might do, like, 200k, maybe, 250... I was actually pretty close. 275. At right, 275. That's fine. That's fine. We got Gohan after. There's nothing to worry about with Gohan, man. Yo, try something, UI. Try something. Let's go. Oh, double digits again? 36? 35? Alright. 
<laughs> oh man, this team is so fun. And then we get the double fusion too, don't we? Well, I mean, <laughs> in the beginning of this video, I was like, yo, we should keep them separate so that we don't waste the Senzu Bean effect. But um, it didn't quite work out that way, I guess. It's, it, it doesn't matter though. So let's put Vegito there for all those counters. And then, ah oh man, we can't get an Ultra Super with Gogeta or Vegito. Well, that's fine. I feel like with the counters, we might just kill him. Well, they gotta be crit counters though. If we don't crit counter here, yeah, if the crit counter doesn't happen, then it's not gonna do much damage. We do do some damage with the crit counter, but yeah, when it's like just a normal um, counter with like no, no crit, it's gonna be like 100 damage maybe. It's cool though. It's all good. It just it just shows how um, how much defense the MUI Goku has. Yeah, there we go. 366. Look at the difference in damage. At least Vegito's not taking much either. <laughs> Alright, Gogeta. Show me something good. That's not bad. Yo, I really want... Yeah, I, I really, really want MUI to dodge LRUIs. I was just saying. I really want to dodge it because I want to finish this uh, this fight with LR Gogeta's active skills, so we can use both active skills in this run. Now that that kind of hurt, but no big deal. No big deal. It's about to be finished right here, right now. I'm gonna pop this right now. Here we go. Best animation in the entire game, or one of them at least. One of them at least. And. Uh, that's gonna be it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video slash showcase. I mean, if you didn't, at the very least I had fun. So I guess that counts for something. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, man, I, I'm pretty confident in my statement that this is the current best team in the entire, man, I was hoping that would do more damage. Okay, hold on, a little bit awkward. It's okay though. He's still gonna finish him off. It's just gonna take one more attack. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I do think it's the best team in the entire game. If you guys want to dispute that, feel free to... Can you... Yo, you, why? Can you stop doing this? You're ruining the moment. It's ruining the moment, guys. I, I, I guess Vegito's got to step in now. 5.46 mil on that super. Okay. Okay. Um, what else can I... What, what else was I going to say? I, I got thrown off now. I don't even know. The triple supers? That's not bad. Almost 4 million on that additional super attack now. And there we go. 2.2526 mil crit. It's over. That was the run. Let's look at the time, actually. I feel like we took a little bit longer than we should have. So maybe it's like not quite as good as I thought it was going to be, but still pretty good. Uh, ooh, 20 minutes and 46 seconds. That's a travesty. Ooh. Yeah, if you guys want to make fun of me for that time, go ahead, man. I, I deserve it. I deserve it for sure, because that's it's not a good time. At least we didn't use any items, so that's something. But I could have done better. But as I said, I talk a lot, so the talking probably took up a good amount of time. Um, but anyways, guys, that is going to be today's video. I'll be back with other showcases of other teams, maybe Transformation Boost, maybe Last Resort. Wait, what's it called now? What's the, what's the global name? Uh, Final Trump Card? I don't like that name. Last Resort, or some other team that has both of these LRs, that's all I really care about right now. I want to run these guys as much as possible, so if you guys want to see something else, or some other team featuring the Blue Fusions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for today. That was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.